here we are today. You look absolutely amazing. And I've never seen you happier than what you are with Bradley. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you two. And I think that some of our best memories are yet to come. Bradley, all I can say is I'm so thankful that my sister found you. And with our crazy family, you are the perfect fit. <laughs> I don't think any of us could possibly picture someone better for my sister. Christ in the middle of the relationship and marriage, uh, make him the rock to build off on. And if you can do that, your marriage will thrive and not just survive. I have truly been blessed for it, uh, with a twin brother, uh, Emily. I've been blessed that you be coming to my life. A ring is a very special thing. It's a token of your faith and your love. This ring is made out of precious metal. It is a never ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God. A love that never fails, never presents itself haughty nor puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes his power to move in your lives. The world has the idea that marriage is simply a legal contract. It is much more than that. It is a covenant. When the words of faith are spoken according to the word of God, the power of God goes into operation. There is an actual miracle that takes place when the faith of these two people is released in God's power. God honors your faith and brings you into union as one together. Bradley, do you take Emily as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her even as Christ loves the church? to protect her and provide for her and care for her for the rest of your lives. I do. Then repeat after me. I, Bradley. I, Bradley. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Leave my father and my mother. Leave my father and my mother. And I join myself to you. And I join myself in you. As a husband. As a husband. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Emily, do you take Bradley as your husband? submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as head of this union for the rest of your lives. I do. Turn to him, repeat after me. I, Emily. I, Emily. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. Submit myself to you. To be a wife to you. To be a wife to you. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. Bradley, you may kiss your bride. Honestly, he's been a blessing in my life because I think about this from time to time. You know, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be nowadays. We've all been bad examples. He's helped me out, bailing hay, farming. He never asked for money. He's always there for me. So we love you both. Wish you both the best. We're here for you. So. And I could spend so much time sharing different memories of our childhood together because we had so much fun growing up. Um, but I think it's safe to say that now that you at least asked to borrow my clothes, we get along so much better. <laughs> I am so thankful for the relationship that we have now. Um, we can talk about our dreams, our faith, share just everything together. I love you both so much. I wish you all the happiness. And of course, as many nieces and nephews as you want to give me. <laughs> so let's all raise.